Hi friends, welcome to Andy Bricks and a look at set 7663, the Sith Infiltrator, take 2, uh, 310 bricks in this quirky little thing, and Darth Maul riding his machine, um, some sort of Sith speeder. Back of the box shows you um, your landing gear, the wings that pop in and out, the what were the original flick missile that didn't work, <coughs> excuse me, and um, the back of it opened up with the old moles whizzing away there. And then his speeder, and um, yeah, what happens to the ship. And we have some sets that were obtainable in 2007, possibly for a year, so it could have been into 2008, I'm not sure. Um, I found that brand new in a box on Trade Me. Um, the others I brought off of another guy that had collected them and um, they were pretty t like brand new this was a little bit different just the browns that had changed through it but I brought those three sets off of him along with numerous other ones but not this one I'm not sure where I got this but a great box you know the art it's fantastic um, Coruscant in the background so he's heading out oh, you can see a bit, bit better there excuse me maybe I should have eaten before I came here into this room but here we have it and the reason I dragged this out I um, brought this long before I had a channel um, and I was just loving Lego and Star Wars and I believe I had the 2011 set um, I think I actually brought two of those and they are a crazy price I was looking at my one um, it's in a box it's in its box still, but I found it in a box <laughs> and um, had $150 on the bottom of it. But it was a big ship. It's, you know, so much larger than, you know, it's I just, it's bigger. But this is the best one, I believe, that they have done to date. Now, we're at 25 years anniversary. So the reason I dragged this out was Darth Maul is a um, figure you can get in the um, you know books, encyclopedias, the pictures of the minifig, minifig encyclopedia, um, possibly. He comes stuck in the in the front of the book, you know how that is. But unfortunately, he doesn't come with the stand with um, that on it. I should have actually brought the figure in. I don't think they show you it anywhere. But yeah, he's just a figure stuck in a box. Uh, um, and it, you know, stuck in the front of a book. And um, they might have that written on the book. I'm not sure. But um, he's got just 25 years printed on his back. He does have a cape like Vader. So... Maybe it's a bit hidden, but it's a real miss for Lego because they've done all these other figures that are on a little plate. You'll see it when I drag this out. And um, with disappointment, <laughs> you'll see that there's a plate for the special figure, you know, for the 25 year anniversary. Much like they have done in the past, just so happens. 
I have this here. Can I get it? Will it stay together? It's breaking up. It's breaking up. I am missing one. Um, just was not obtainable for me in, in New Zealand. I never saw it. I didn't really look hard, but it was... Excuse that. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. But um, come on a plate like that. These guys got it printed on their back as well. All of them do. The cape hides it, which is nice. And, um, yeah, they don't have a plate for Darth Maul. And, it, and they've got, you know, one, two, four, maybe four, maybe four figures, one, possibly four or five figures. And one of them doesn't have the, the plate to stand it on. And it's just a, a total loss for Lego. However, we do have him in here. No, you know, just... I haven't yet brought the book. I need to go and order it. But, um... And his cape is um, looking a little bit torn, which I don't mind. Now, the rest of the set looks really tidy, but um, the cape... Let me just put things back a bit. Get a light going over here. That going to work. Um... Your cape's a little bit torn and disheveled, but um, it's interesting how, how it does wear eventually over time. Um, I've got other ones that are a little bit worse than this, but this is what I believe we still get today, that, that papery feeling cloth that is actually cloth. And um, you can see it coming to pieces there. But um, one of the better Darth Mauls, I didn't mind the 2011 one. Um, he had horns by that stage. And um, that light. But yeah, it, he's always a little bit, you know, blurry or his pupils are off or... He actually looks quite good from what I can see, but oh, that freaking light. Let me just lift it up a bit. And if I can stop shaking. Yeah, he's, he's nice. I like him. You just get one figure in this set. People didn't complain about that back then that I know of. I wouldn't know, actually. I wasn't around, so that's a total lie. Um, now, this is what I believe is one of the better speeders. And I think they're getting worse. I don't like the, the one that you can get this year. I do have that set coming, but um, um, it's at the warehouse and I... They didn't get many. They were the only people who have this uh, Thimble Trader 25 year anniversary. Um, and it's about the same size as this, funnily enough. But it's a really nice build. And its speeder is just, it's, I don't like it. Now, this one, for a couple of times, they done those cheese slopes like that. Because it actually does have these slats down and that, you know, it has a lot more than that. It probably has two or three within that cheese slope um, length there, possibly, you know, um, scaled up. But yeah, cute little speeder, thin, he can sit in there because of the handlebars and all those legs. Sound a bit, um, <laughs> haven't been used for a while. 
in those knees, mole. <laughs> or should we say Mr. Dar Mole? But yeah. So the 2011 one um, was made out of a one piece thing, which is a cool little speeder as well. And the pre runner to this was two studs wide and um, I did a review of um, him and Qui-Gon Jin and Moles coming in on his speeder there's a what the it's a 1999 set Qui-Gon Jin Maul coming in on a speeder and a um, moisture evaporator in the background that they only ever did one of in that style so yeah, that was an interesting one. I I don't mind it, it's interesting. But yeah, there we have Mole whizzing around. Now inside there we just have that control panel. None of this opens up like the newer ones. I would say that this is possibly very close to um how they have built the first one could have been built out of the same possible bricks. I was going to look into it, but I didn't. And man, that is filthy. I didn't notice that under different lights. But this was the only one that they used those round wings on. And it's a real shame because that is what you see as... Um, Oh, the land, we'll deal with the landing gear quickly. Um, it, 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 you know, if you push too hard on it, it'll um, unsupport the ship. But um, it's quite cool. They, they go in and they get locked in by this here. But when you pull it out, you have this little, little bit of play in it. So you can spray spray them a bit, and um, you know, give it better, better, you know, stability on the ground. Now I'm holding it back like that because these are the first time they've done these. Let's get rid of these because this just drive me mad. But this is um, some of the first flick missiles. I don't know how long they've done it for, but. And it's made up of that there, so they drop out of your ship if you tilt forward. And they're just a real prick, pain in the butt. And uh, yeah, I just, they're just not good. Now, <clears throat> those went, oh, stop it, Lego. Pretty sure that goes like that. You have to come in for some repairs. I don't mind the printed piece. This is the um, cockpit, original um, cockpit piece for the TIE fighters. And they used it in other places. And obviously they used it here. I don't know if this is the same print as the first one that came out in 1999. I don't know the set number. But um, the print is very similar. I should have looked it up. But um, we've got the door. So that's the door down there that opens up that, this little piece here. So, you know, that's, that's how big this ship is. That opens up, a little ramp comes out. So, you know, this is like a three-story home <laughs> in here. <laughs> and it's just, yeah. I, I suppose um, we have maybe he, he walks along the bottom and then uh, up to the cockpit, possibly. Um, and because, you know, this has obviously got to be some sort of engine in here. So, yeah, maybe that's what's going on with that. 
little door. It's not because the engines are right there. So yeah, maybe it's um, so that's how big the ship is. You know, if a person was standing next to it, and um, it's a real shame they never use those wings again because they just use the flat plate and it's yucky. But you, um, you get your old landing gear out. Didn't really like that either, but um, you know, it's Lego. So the strange thing with this is, stay there, Molly. Yeah, I, the whole thing came to pieces on me the last time I did this. I think it's, it's not, uh. see what I mean? But what's supposed to happen, that, that's just way too tight, way too tight. Oh, how'd that landing gear get up? It's just, it just, it just is. So, it all slides into there, um, I believe, beyond this, there's, yeah, that red, um, yeah, Republic Red. I don't know what it actually is called, but the, the red, and um, that just locks up on it. So... If you don't push it on too hard, it's all right. So now yeah, I've pushed it home. It's working better. I don't know why, but the ship comes to pieces. Now this is the only part of this whole thing, and it, I actually wonder if it came from another set. Possibly. Lightsaber hilt that used to be chrome and then it just was um, like greyish blue. Yeah, sorry, I'm talking, <laughs> I was trying to think. Um, so light greyish, bluish grey, greyish, light bluish grey. I'm not sure which way it goes, but yeah, um, they now, you know, have a, I don't know if they're painted or they just, it's a gum metal colour plastic they use, I think it is. They're not as nice as the chrome ones, but, you know, they're alright, but this looks like it has been chewed beyond compared to, there's, a, there's one that hasn't, so, yeah, I just think that's funny, it's cute, why would just one brick be eaten, anyhow, that's where you get Mole's um, dual lightsaber from, is that clip there holds the hilt, and um, his blades, become part of the ship just on the side there come on get out of it like that and I guess you could use it as a you know if, if I, I was a kid I guess that would become a laser cannon for me we also have his binoculars that he looks out over tattooing with and um the black, um, I don't, they, I don't know, what, they're a little droid thing, they, they don't look like this, I'll stick the um, saber up it so we can just hold it, but yeah, there's three of them, and they beep, 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 beep off, two go to, um, ta to, um, Tatooine, Tatooine's the planet, eh, Moss Eisley, um, two go to Moss Eisley, and another one 
it goes off this way and you can see that there's a bigger town <laughs> there's a there's a bigger town over this side than that side and Maul standing on a hill and his big ships in the background it's massive it really is it's a big thing and um, he sends these little characters off bleeping away I can stick one up here actually I can stick two up there I don't know why I'm doing this I'm just wasting time really now now I'm not sure if the antennas are laying down or straight up in the air or what but they just like two go off this way and one goes off that way bleep, 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 bleep. and Maul's looking through his binoculars before that and then he touches his you know he goes bleep, 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 bleep. and <laughs> loses, loses one of those and um, I'll get that later because it's just not going to be worth it now I did look it's a little bit hard to see here but um, trans red um, one by twos three of them there that make up um, a plate that they sit on and um, it actually looks quite good now I've, I've lost one but um, it's like a little charging a, an e evil charger to charge up the um, you know I'm going to let me have a quick look here, because I just can't help myself. But if I can't see it... Oh, I can see it, but... Yeah, it's just down there. So, I'll get it after the, the, the video. So we just um, put his ship back together. Um, probably the worst thing about you know, you, the, the 2011 one had a big hood on it, the whole thing had lift up and um, you'd get it, the bike, and um, that, there wasn't much under it. I can't believe it was it's so expensive. Now, this could have been anywhere up to $80 in New Zealand. It does that too, if you... Um, Not sure what I've done there. Ah, let go. Don't fail me now. I wish those were a bit stronger. The clicky, clicky down feet. If you can hear my guts rumbling, I am so sorry. <laughs> but yeah. There we have it. Beautiful. Just a, a great thing. Um, I was... I, I think I did look at some images of this. Um, you know, like drawings I think they were and stuff. And... Um, I'm not sure if it has the ridge down the... <coughs> the ridge down the down the nose like this one but the model that they've just released again for the 25 anniversary which is um, a great little set I'm looking forward to it when I finally get it I can't believe that it just there might be more now but um, as of a couple of days ago they came in and went within two or three days should have sort of tallied how many they had but um yeah it was a good couple of shelves N you know, not a couple of shelves that, that sounds like too much but um come on be nice be nice to me so there we go <laughs> what a mess this is where you want to edit, Andrew. But yeah, there we go. You can get this figure. 
and a book. If I buy the books, I, I'll be looking for it, but I don't know how many more I'll buy. But I would like to actually do a, a video that's my DK books. But yeah, here we go. Good old 7663. The good old days. Not a bad set. If you can find it, grab it. You'll enjoy it. If you like Star Wars. I don't want to do anything stupid there and kill it. Why won't that go down? What have I done? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, yeah. Get in and get it. I'm going to go and get some food. <laughs> Stop my stomach from making funny noises. But, yeah. I would change those out. I don't have any at the moment floating around. I did just get something that's got some in it, but yeah it's only a yeah it's not a part that's often used it really isn't is it that click and flick muscle thing especially now that hey look at that can anyone see that hang on i've got lights hitting me left right and center see if i can his hilt is chromed. I must look into that. Maybe this came with a ting tong toon pattern. Yeah, that's definitely chromed. We can see that, eh? Chrome. And that bike has just been made uh, in 2007. I must look into that. Maybe I was supposed to have a chromed hilt. Instructions are in there. But yes, we're not going to go there now. Sorry to get you excited if you thought we were going to have a look. But there's nothing really in the instructions. Um, a Naboo Starfighter, I think, is it might actually have um, half the year's range of the 2007 phone. You guys know what came out. But yeah, at Chrome Hill. Can you see it on the back? I think it is. It's a chrome one. I might have to find me a chrome hilt. Interesting. Actually thought... See, look, the same year. These are just grey. I'm not sure if that's been... There, picked up. The grey hilts. The same colour. It'll be interesting to see. If um, this did have a chrome one in it. Or whether they just did that for the picks. Who knows? But yeah. One of the best Sith Infiltrators I like to date. The only one I've built, but I own um, th this one. Um, I, uh, I'm only missing the, t the 1999 set, which was real boxy and um, had straight wings. For the first time and then they went to the round one and then they went back to the straight i don't know why this is just you know this is everything that you want your sith infiltrator to have it's got that circle shape you know it, as it see them fly past and it spins it's you know yeah anyhow love you guys thanks for watching and your bricks out take care stay safe please